You know, I'm going to just say that these are not medical grade tweezers. This is not. This does not feel fair. This is this game is rigged. Hey everybody, I'm Zachary Levi. I play Shazam in the new movie Shazam: Fury of the Gods, which comes out March 17th, only in theaters. And right now, I'm sitting down with IMDb, and we're doing a really fun rapid fire interview. Whilst also, I play Operation, maybe a little bit. I literally already lit up his nose. Who was your favorite superhero as a kid? I liked a lot of them. I would like kind of bounce around. My buddies all loved Wolverine, and I get it because Wolverine's like super dope. But I was like counterculture. I was like, I'm Gambit. And we could all literally in middle school, we'd run around. No props, no nothing. I mean, maybe maybe I would bring out like a stick every once in a while or like Gambit's bow. Talking like this uh, French Cajun, uh, Mon Chéri kind of thing. Gambit can't help but notice you save him, Chef. Deadpool was actually one of my favorite characters. And then, you know, Ryan Reynolds got to play him. But he crushes it, so it's like, you know, it all works out. I know, right? Invisibility or x-ray vision? Ugh. I think invisibility. I think x-ray vision would get a little weird sometimes, like, yeah. But, if, you know, invisibility, you gotta be careful about it, right? Because, you know, you could definitely use that. You could go down the wrong roads. All of a sudden, you're being real sneaky and you're, you know, doing th stuff you're not supposed to do. I would not do that. I would use it for altruistic reasons. Would you rather have an underground lair or a treehouse hideaway? I think a treehouse hideaway. I really do. I'm a big fan of the old, like, OG Swiss Family Robinson and, like, the Lost Boys, like, all that stuff. I think that'd be fun. Yes, first. How are those maggots? <laughs> Where would you go? Oh! I lost again. It's way harder than you think it is. What would be your personal superhero catchphrase? Catch me outside. That would be, how about that? Catch me outside. That would be my superhero phrase. Catch me outside, how about that? What's your favorite onset memory from Shazam? <laughs> uh, favorite onset memory of Shazam? I have a one wheel, those like boards that have like one big wheel in the middle and you kind of ride it, you just lean on it, you know, like a Segway. And I, I would rip that thing all over the place and Helen was like, ah, I really want to try that. And so I got her up on, you know, it's like a balance board almost and I just kind of held her hands and just leaned her back and forth and she got to ride it a little bit. And I was very proud of that, you know, Coach Zach teaching Dame Helen how to utilize the most latest and greatest in mobile technologies. It was, it was fun. You are very menacing. I just want you to know that. Who would your animal sidekick be? I probably just want my dog to talk. I think we all kind of, not that our dogs don't talk, but I think it'd be pretty dope to be able to talk to my dog like in English and have him explain to me like, hey, listen, man, like right now, I just need to take a crap. So if you could let me outside, you know, cause you're always trying to find out, you're trying to, you need to take a crap or do you want to play right now? And they're all, everything's the same. Yes, it's all the same kind of reaction. So I'd like to know that a little bit better. Time travel or telekinesis? Time travel comes with a lot of complications because once you start screwing with the, you know, space time continuum, uh, as we learned from Back to the Future 2, power can end up in the wrong hands and you need an alternate reality where Biff is in charge. We don't want Biff in charge of anything. Are you in or out? But also, I'd still really like to go travel in time. <laughs> I love my life. 